So I'm so excited that you're here, Diane. Um, so we have Diane Gleim is going to be teaching a course called Moving Clients from Having Narcissistic Sex to Relational Sex. Super exciting, excited for this because it's such an important class. Why do you think this is an important class for, for therapists to take? I think because if you're doing any sex and sex therapy and or couples therapy, you are going to encounter this. You are going to encounter uh, when clients have narcissistic motives uh, for sexual and erotic intimacy that they may not be aware of, that may not be in their in their clear consciousness, but it's in the room. It's it's you know it's it's part of the soup, as we say. It's in there, and chances are, if the, if they're not, if the individual client is not aware, their partner is feeling something. And so many times when, when therapists do not address the narcissism that can be part of a client's uh, motivations for intimacies, uh, sexual and erotic intimacy, and it goes unaddressed in the therapy, they leave therapy feeling like eh, something wasn't, we got better with this, with communication, with consent, with et cetera, et cetera. But there's this piece that still feels missing. And so uh, that's my hope is that this training uh, will will help highlight or bring awareness to those therapists that this is an is an aspect of an individual psychology that also needs to be addressed clinically. Excellent. And so, so tell us a little bit about the class. What's it going to entail? Cover? Yeah. So I'm we're going to do a deep dive into narcissism, what it is, and also more importantly, what it isn't. I see so many social media posts about uh, by people saying what narcissism is, and I oh oh it hurts almost a little bit because they're off. <laughs> and so uh, I want to give some really um, clear information about narcissism, like I said, what it is and what it isn't, how it shows up sexually, how it in an individual, how it shows up sexually with a couple. And then we're going to talk about motives, uh, narcissistically narcissistic motives, and then how to sort of move them uh, through that pain of that narcissistic, basically narciss narcissistic injury that's motivating them uh, to have sex, move them into and closer towards more of a relational style of having sex. So important. And so... Can you give us a little, some teasers of, of what people are going to take away from this class? And, uh, well, um, you're going to know, uh, what narcissism is, uh, what it isn't. You're going to know, um, uh, how, how it shows up sexually. You're going to, I'm going to really depathologize the process of narcissism as well. Cause that's the other thing that I see all over TikTok is, and, and Instagram and, you know, just social media is how, how it's pathologized. And when in fact, we all have narcissistic traits, we all have narcissistic injuries, we're all moving through the world trying to get those healed. Yeah. And so if we can have some more compassion for that as a process, and, and hopefully I'm gonna, uh, you know, provide some alternative ways of sort of thinking about narcissism, narcissistic wounds, um, attempts at healing those injuries, um, and how relational sex can heal those narcissistic wounds. Not, you know, narcissistic sex or narcissistically motivated sex doesn't necessarily heal those wounds. It's the relational aspect of sex that heals those wounds. Excellent. And any anything you can tell us, like one thing a therapist can do, one thing that they're going to learn in this training, like in detail or no? Uh, let's see, you're going to learn some tools. You're going to, uh, I, you're going to learn some tools about how to move folks towards relational sex. You're going to, um, be able to identify traits or characteristics of relational sex and how to encourage clients to, to build more of those. Okay. Excellent. And so when we're talking about relational sex, you know, so much is going through my mind right now. Like what would one or two characteristics of relational sex be? Uh, authenticity, be yourself, say yes. When you mean yes, say no, when you mean no, so uh, 
another one, uh, reciprocity, right? Like care about your partner's experience and be uh, invested in, in the outcome for them. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, so we have lots to look forward to in this training. It's one that I have not heard done before. So I'm excited personally and professionally as well. Um, so I hope everybody will join us. We're going to be doing this live via Zoom in August, and then we're going to have it recorded for whenever people want to take it. So thank you for being with us today and looking forward to, to hearing more. Great. Thanks, Rachel.